Well, this is the last weekend of the auto show. It runs through tomorrow in big categories there, SUVs and trucks. The nation is crazy about SUVs. Both the very small ones, the subcompact SUVs, your Honda uh, HRV or uh, Toyota CHR, but also the big things, the Sequoias, the uh, uh, Suburbans, the Tahos. So people are buying them in all sizes and they're really buying them up. And an offshoot of that is the interest in pickup trucks, like this all new Chevy Silverado. Consumer Reports' Patrick Olson says sometimes trucks replace the family car. Trucks is family vehicles. You know, the crew cabs have gotten bigger. Um, they were telling me the Chevy's gotten four inches longer to give you more leg room. And so they're much more appealing to families who want to be able to have everyone in the car but then carry stuff in the back. This Ram 1500 has a leather clad high tech interior with a touch screen control center that rivals some luxury sedans. If these trucks are too big, the new Ford Ranger adds to the trend for more mid sized trucks like this Toyota Tacoma TRD unveiled at the Chicago Auto Show. Another thing that's helping truck sales, low gas prices. Now, if you want to check out the auto show, tickets will cost you between $7 and $13 today, tomorrow, and that's it. Okay, not to put you on the spot, but you are our expert car reviewer. The ultimate favorite car, like the one that just caught your eye, that had all the bells and whistles. That's beauty. not like a Lamborghini or something? Well, that could be. <laughs> I like the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, which Ooh. is a high-performance SUV. And uh, I've driven the regular Stelvio, and I can only imagine that the Quadrifoglio is a real knock you back in your seat. Knock you car. back. Yeah. So Quattro meaning four, like four uh, times? or Four-leaf clover. Okay. On the side of it is a four-leaf oh. clover. So if somebody wants to give me one of those by St. Patrick's Day, it'll be a perfect <laughs> tie-in, right?